let's see what happens tonight. Will we get good Twitch or bad Twitch? Will we get <laughs> Twitch? <laughs> We're getting bad Twitch. I'm not going to stream. I swear to fucking God, I won't stream this fucking game. If it's like this, I'm done. I'm done. Hello, Kirok. I don't trust this yet. <laughs> nope, there it goes again. Fuck me. I swear to God, I think I'm going to start switching from, uh, streaming from YouTube. Uh, I'm just so sick of this. I swear to God, I think I'm going to start switching from, uh, streaming from YouTube. Uh, I'm just so sick of this. All right, it hasn't done it in a couple of minutes, in like a minute. So we're going to try this. But I think this week I'm going to look into streaming directly to YouTube. And you hear it. Wait, you can't hear me? Wait, can you hear me? Whoa! As I step on my cord. Of course, now I'm asking you questions and you can't answer me for eight and a half minutes because it's fucking Twitch. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'm getting a goddamn... Um, I was getting a... Um, Yeah, that was because I was listening to, like, I had the thing, uh, my computer on to make sure the sound was all right. But, um, no, it was, um, uh, you know, it was showing the ring, saying that it was, like, delayed. Like, it was, tw it was you know, uh, not, oh, I forgot to get a drink now because I was pissed off. <laughs> you know what I, else I noticed about this game? Um, five controller is green because I have good health. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's get to work because I got a hard out at midnight tonight because I got to get up at six tomorrow. All right. Let's let's take a look at the map. <clears throat> How'd your weekend go, Garrock? What have we done? Yeah, it's it's an, an ungodly hour to be up. I hate it. <laughs> we went to the chapel. Going to the chapel and I'm gonna see Pyramid Head. All right. Go into the chapel of blood. Oh, that was just open. Okay, what are the odds this does anything good? Oh, God. Well, that's good. I don't know what the fuck that's about. He took his gun out. Mag, welcome. I am thinking that I have to run down the hallways and like pull these things in order to like make the lights stay on. Oh, health drink. Oh, motherfucker.
Come here. Come here, you fucker. I didn't even see where he came out of. I assume he was like hiding under a bench or something. Dude, everybody's fucking getting over shit. I'm getting over my stupid foot. been from acid reflux too like it could have been an early symptom why is my radio going nuts I can't, I, I hear something, I don't know, I don't see it. What the fuck am I hearing? God damn, it's annoying. Oh, hey, buddy. Can he hit? Let's see. How good is his aim? It's pretty fucking good. Come on, buddy. It's your lucky day. Shit, is he gonna he No, that wasn't a popper. Okay, Jesus. Ooh. Ah, uh, I missed a couple of these. I was watching an LP. I missed a couple of big uh memories. That's not exactly Rita Hayworth. I doubt there's a tunnel under there. Besides, the tunnel's right here. Low-fat yogurt has helped you? Speaking of low-fat yogurt... <laughs> this cell is to be cleaned up by Tuesday. Make sure you get the cons to do it by then. The previous tenant has been moved to death row as per the warden's order. Now see, the controller is vibrating so, like slightly. Okay, there's the door we gotta. So I'm betting you have to crawl through there to get. Why did he pull his gun? I don't see anybody. He keeps looking back there. All right. Like, if this is going to be a timing puzzle, I want to kill everything here before we even attempt it. Just 
stairwell. That's the room we came in from, right? Okay. I did not expect that to open. Where's the little room? It says there should be a little room to my right. I don't see it. Unless that's the elevator? All right, let's, there's a room over here I got to clean out. Then we'll try this. Birdie. I know there's something back here. It keeps aggroing and I could, don't know where it is. Snakeu. Oh, there is an upstairs to this place. this whole time. Did I not like double tap them? I am a confused. Mo cow. Oh, goody, it's incredibly tightly timed. I have a feeling we're going to have to find the ones that aren't done. Like that this has to be done in a very specific order.
Wait. Yeah, it is. Okay. I am a confused. Hmm. Alright, so there's this one here. Hello, Lydiam, welcome. There's that one there. There isn't one down here, right? No. What the hell? What is it, Dick Smoker Immortal? supposed to do like I know these two are here and I know those two are out there oh I don't think I have time to hit all four of these. What the hell? Stay the fuck down. <laughs> Wise man once said, I'm gonna stomp a mud hole in this motherfucker's ass. There. Get up from that. You primitive screwheads, listen up. I'm overthinking this. I mean, if we do have that other area to explore. Really wanted to get that <clears throat> hunting rifle before I went into what looked like an obvious boss room. Oh. Dick Smoker's up again. Oh no, it's a mannequin.
Okay. Wow, we don't have many shotgun shells. You know, I was kind of hoping this would be a revelation of sorts, but it ain't. <laughs> All right, let's go see what's out in the yard. I wonder if combinations of these open certain doors. But, let's see what's out in the yard first. Ah, there's a city about here. That's so very reassuring. You know, James, at some point you gotta wonder if Mary was really worth all this. <laughs> Alright. Obviously there's something in the middle. Boy, this game loves dramatically revealing things from, like, under tarps. Pull ye but once on a rope's frayed end, choose the one justified from among the damned. Seek out their tales, think upon each sin, or let the blind fate choose. Let the judgment begin. Slightly prophetic with the number of pyramid heads that are sitting here. Okay, you want to hear something ridiculous? <clears throat> In the OG game, the way to open a trapdoor here was to melt a candle with a horseshoe in it to make a makeshift handle. I don't know if they're going to do that in this one. Okay. So I'm going to go out on a limb and guess there's a weight behind every one of these doors. I just have to figure out how to open them. Uh, yeah, Silent Hill puzzles are meant to be ridiculous. There are four switches. One must coincide to each door. So there should be a green light above one of these doors.
But why do the two... Usually there's a note or something that would help you decipher this. Could I have missed it? You're joking. You're not joking. Well, that's not even remotely annoying. I'm just going to take a systematic approach. And hit every door after hitting this thing to see if it does it. See, because I heard something there. Let's check it. There's a rag there. And see, this one's the same as that one. See, that's the first one going off again. I'm missing something. For the life of me, I don't see what, though. <laughs> and I only found one note down here. This is the only door I didn't check when I did that.
I am kind of stumped. Oh, it might be time to consult the Oracle. <laughs> I, my time is too limited tonight to waste an hour and a half on a fucking puzzle. Oh, there's a switch upstairs. Maybe these two open the stairwell door. I will give that a whirl. No, they don't. You gonna stay dead? You are now. I'll try this one. I don't think it's going to matter. All my roads are blocked. It's weird, up till now, the game's been pretty good about giving you clues about what you had to do. This has nothing. It wasn't about the stupid <clears throat> lights, it was about the scale. Oh, that's not the Headless Serpent door. <laughs> hmm. I would swear the Headless Serpent was the thing that unlocked. 
Unless there has to be a way on both sides. There we go. Well, that didn't take an embarrassing amount of time. <laughs> oh, hi, electric chair. I just saw something go in front of that light. Oh my god, there was something in there. A reminder to all guards. Effective immediately, it is absolutely mandatory for everyone to familiarize themselves with the revised generator maintenance manual. Oh lord. We all remember what happened the last time there was a spike, though I'm certain most of us would very much want to forget. We will not have another incident! What the hell was that? Um, a mannequin is crawling on the wall. Look at this motherfucker. Oh wait, whoa, hold up. Hey, hold everything. Great. I can't even fucking see hold on. Spider mannequin, spider mannequin, does whatever a spider mannequin does. Okay. Spotlight on mannequin. I can't see through there. I'm not even sure my bullets would go through there. I'm not even sure I tried that door. Oh, I hear one. There we go.
This is a most unpleasant place. We'll be together tonight. Keep bleeding. Come on. You better start bleeding or I'm going to keep kicking. Okay, then. And my radio is still going off, which means there's another one of these little shits up here. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm not going to go chasing that thing blindly in there. Hello, Psych Banana. Welcome. Might as well wait for that thing to go up. Okay, Garak. We'll be here for a little while. Alright. I'm I, I'm really disliking these new mannequins. <laughs> Shit. Wait, was there a light switch here? There is, okay. Patient being in there. Okay, then. All right, let's turn the lights back on. I think that was the patient demon. Oh! Damn, this whole place is locked tight. <sighs> Dead nurse in there. Oh, you little prick. There were two of them hiding that my radio wasn't seeing.
I would kill to have Bioshock powers in this game. <laughs> Oh my god, I haven't played Bioshock in, oh my god, decades. <laughs> I, you know what I really liked was water. I, I liked electricity because there was so much water lying around. You could just combo, uh, combo kills into oblivion. Let me see my map for a second. <clears throat> That was some funky ceiling text. Game. I see bullets there. You see bullets there. Let me take the bullets. There we go. Thank you. No, not quite. There we, hold on. Can't, there we go. Thank you, game. <clears throat> All right, there's a save. get a drink while there's a relative peace here. Safety instructions, power transfer levels, green, maintenance level used to test before each use, yellow optimal level, Maintained for safe operation. Red. Danger level. Do not operate. Can result in power spike and system overload. Yeah, I remember seeing some bullets through the window. Yeah, there it is. Now, I should be able to break this, but I can't. All right, another one of these. Oh, they want it to overload, huh? Okay. That was an unpleasant sound. I bet you that let loose a whole lot of enemies.
that's a big one. I forgot he's a popper. Ugh. Oh, there are still critters out here. What? Where? Through the door, you little shit. Powered out a little, <laughs> and uh, there was a lot of rooms that I couldn't get through before. Since all these assholes are now free, I'm assuming the cell doors are open. Okay. The alarms are vibrating through the controller. It is not a pleasant feeling. What? Tell you, I'm not a big fan of these guys resurrecting. Nice shot. Seriously, what's the point of stomping them when they're on the ground if they're just going to get the fuck back up again? <laughs> Annoyance. <laughs> One of these walls is going to be breakable. They really shouldn't let the prisoners have so many bullets. And all of a sudden this game became a remake of The Suffering. Check and make sure this is locked. Yeah, okay. Oh, I love it. Don't get me wrong. It's it's different than the OG, but the same. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. It is harder than the old game, I can tell you that. Although, that also could just be the fact that, uh, you know, I've beaten the first game, the original game, 
many, 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 many times, so... those other cells? Well, I don't... Oh, because that was locked up. Yeah, let's just check real quick. Like, nothing's gonna replace OG Silent Hill 2. But... You know, just like... You know... Like, RE2 Remake didn't replace OG RE2. <clears throat> it's just a more modern take on the game, you know? Any more than this would replace OG Silent Hill 2. It is far more combat heavy, I can tell you that much. And it's a lot less obtuse. The original game could be very obtuse. <clears throat> Execution DR-88 report. Prisoner E-662. Welcome back, sir. Age 23, sex male. Method electrocution. Witnesses zero. Note to medical staff. During last night's execution, the prisoner assumed to have been disabled. Uh, simply stood up and approached the chair without any assistance. From now on, take utmost care when reviewing the person, prisoner's medical history. Guards need to be made aware how capable the prisoners are in order to avoid any incidents. I knew there'd be something in here. Although, the hunting rifle doesn't appear to be here, and this seems to be dark prison. I'm, I'm trying not to be offended that uh, you're not more concerned about her being in bed with me. Armory! Armory! Fuck yeah, armory. Give me. Look, I so old to young eyes. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Um... Okay, so this unpleasantness was just the first of the weights. <laughs> and he's sick. He's not going to be. Okay. In the center of Silent Hill lies the town's major tourist attraction, Toluga Lake. But there's a darker side to the scenic, beautiful reservoir. What may seem a bread-and-butter local ghost story you've heard time and time again, in this case, rings surprisingly true. One fateful, fog-bound November day in 1918, a tourist cruiser called Little Baroness has set sail, never to dock again. Newspaper articles reporting the event contain no details of the ship's disappearance. Despite an extensive police search, ne uh, neither a single fragment of the ship nor the remains of the passengers of the crew have ever been recovered. But in 1939, an even more bizarre incident has taken place. Many pages are missing and torn out. Who knows how many souls were taken by the waters of Toluca Lake? Do the eyeless skulls of the damned stare hopelessly at the surface from below, yearning for a breath? Or was their mysterious fate different altogether? And that is the plot to the Silent Hill arcade shooter. <laughs> oh, come on, there's a phone here. Um, Silent Hill's kind of like Springfield. <laughs> You're never exactly super... Like, it's the American Midwest. It depends on... Some people think it's based on a real town. The uh, the devs say it isn't. Okay, so we have a new weight. We have to go back to the scales.
Wait, I'm in the chapel. How the hell did I get in the chapel? Oh, the lights are out. I can't see shit. Oh, I have the armory key. And that goddamn thing is awake again. How the fuck do I get in here? <laughs> Silent Hill that the movie's based in is based on that one. That's when they, <clears throat> for some reason, had ash falling from the sky instead of snow. <laughs> Alright. We, we are so saving. Although, I'm probably going to save outside when I put the scales in, so... God, I really don't want to keep going. No, in the original game, um... Like, weather patterns were freaking out. So it wasn't... It was like foggy yet snowing I just went back in the goddamn chapel because <laughs> I don't want to go out here because I know there's fucking monsters and like the darkness was another part of it like oh god look at how many of these fucking things there are no come here you little fucker no get off the wall get off the fucking wall Like, the original Silent Hill wasn't meant to be a franchise, really, so a lot of the goofy shit that was going on was kind of just left kind of nebulous. Like, it was just Alessa, this witch's power out of control. There you are, you little shit. Ah! These fucking mannequins are so annoying. Is it bleeding? Oh, I can't tell because it's twitching. Oh no, I'm melting. What a world, what a world. All right. I'm sure there's more of them. You know, that's a damn good question. <laughs> Wait, did that open that? I can't tell. That doesn't look right. James here is looking for his dead wife, who sent him a letter telling him she was in Silent Hill. Okay. That was the bowl. The hornless ox, if you will. Oh my god, you little shit burger. I can't even tell if that's...
don't even know if it's, if it's worth wasting the bullets on these assholes. Maybe the lights keep them from attacking? Oh, you motherfucker. Boy, these are weird. They have a tendency to just melt through the goddamn floor. There's another one. Yeah, you got yourself quite an infestation here. Mother Poss Bucket! <laughs> like, it, these fucking guys are just cheap! <laughs> Wait, they're not doing a ton of damage! But god, they're annoying. Now there was a guy in one of these. Nothing? God damn. Well, ah, oh, yeah, dirty whore. We're not really in a prison. It's like a dark manifestation of a prison. <laughs> a Silent Hill exists on multiple, like, levels of reality. That's how we came in. So that's someone walking around past light out again. Whichever one you it was. Do I need to remind you we must never leave your post without prior clearance? Next time I catch you, I'll report you to the warden. Catch me if you can. Okay, that's interesting. Like, I can hear them slurping up here. <laughs> there he is. Slurping? Oh, you little motherfucker, get over here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and the Russian judge gives a 2.5.
Oh, I should be able to unlock the stairwell to the downstairs from here. There's a health drink there. Can't get to it, but it's there. Get a drink before I read this? Jesus Christ. It feels like I'm running around finding shit, but, like, nothing's moving forward. <laughs> Disruption reported. C-140 yelling about C-777, taunting him. Claims bars can't hold him. Administer sedative to C-140. New lockup. Performed the precautionary search of C-777's cell, D-5. No traces found of the prisoner, leaving his cell unsupervised. Recommend further psychiatric evaluation of, C evaluation of C-140. Afternoon route. C-140 and C-777 missing from their cells. Alarm rate. Search and effect. Update. Bathroom door barred from inside. Efforts made to get uh, to them open. We don't hear anything from the other side. Evening lockup. Yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> he wrote something down in his map. I guess it was C... whatever. C4. <laughs> I actually think this game is a little too combat heavy, believe it or not. Cell block D. Oh, I hear him. All right, well, let's see if I can open... I don't think I have the key to C4. Nope. Okay, so that's probably in cell block D. You little fucker. It's amazing how, like, they jump at you, but they're like... <clears throat> it's like they teleport away. I knew it. Never assume you're safe. I am so short on health already. Holy shit, we have gone through a lot of health doing this. There better be a fucking health in here. Nope, there's more bullets. <laughs> Can 
Can I shoot him through here? Let's see. find that cell block T. Oh, it's where I saw a item thing, but no. I know there's one out here because that's the one I couldn't shoot. Oh, you motherfucker. Yeah, nothing to read there. Of course, it's locked. I didn't check out those stairs. That's the only thing, except for C4. Okay. Yeah, that's unlocked. There's another still over oh, okay, there's a whole section over there. All right. Get out and see if these stairs are open. <clears throat> Excuse me. The levels in this game are Ugh, long. Everything is relying on me getting that C4 key.
it is bad to take when they own, they said they own. Okay. When one does own, the other can't take, but I cannot own. Should the warden take? No, he shouldn't own again. I will take, I will own. Okay, thanks, Gollum. The funny thing is, that one downstairs that kept resurrecting has me wondering if I'm even, like, putting a dent in these numbers. They do appear to stay where, down where I'm killing them. Might as well save again. Even though I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Let's look at where the fuck is D5. All the way over there, okay. Shame you didn't find it. Shouldn't you know this place better than I do? Now it's too late. I'm going for a walk. Clever boy. Here's your reward. We could both use a bath. A shank or a shiv key. That should be that. Here's something you want in your exploration game. Mind-numbingly dull <laughs> overuse of a light technique.
Well, at least the lights are on in here. You know, I can't even argue with that, Psych. <laughs> he's coming to take me away. Ha ha, he's coming to take me away. Ho ho, he he, ha ha, ho ho. He's coming. I know he is. The bars, the walls, they can't hold him. He'll get in, he'll get in. I still have time. I can make it almost through, but he's close. I can feel it. He's coming to finish it. Let him come. Let them fight. But, like, this is only section two of four to get these goddamn weights. <laughs> and, like, this is, this is long. <laughs> like, every major section of this game is a little too long. Oh, man, many toilets to check out. Yay. <clears throat> Great, there's a light in here too. Wonderful. Come on, how did you get that off? Not the first time I surprised a woman in the bathroom with a lead pipe. Oh, damn. That's a knifey. That was a tough ass nurse right there. They won't save Chris, they won't save me. They're trying to kill me. At least these light switches are kinda long. <laughs> like that thing's staying on for quite a while. So we covered the whole bathroom. That one's permanent. That would be a pleasant surprise. Boy, they're giving out syringes like candy in this section. I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you, I didn't listen. You didn't listen. He's here. No walls to break or anything? Okay. Oh no, it's very slow, but it's uh it's a thing. <sighs> uh, uh, 
No, James, don't vault. Health drink. Thank you. Is that dead? It is now. I'm concentrating. You know my sense of direction is such shit that I am trying very hard not to get lost. Oh, another piece of the old Tulika prison puzzle. You're just so uncomfortable all the time. Oh, come on, James. This isn't our first trip to the fisting. No big deal, trophy earned. You know, I already explored. I can get the fuck out of here without getting into too much trouble and wasting too many resources. You dirty whore. Okay. Yeah, I'm not great at directions. <laughs> That's odd, though. I didn't get anything to open those doors. Nah, it doesn't matter. We gotta get downstairs again anyway. Double check. I'm not sure he's going to follow me out through there or not. He is. Alrighty, let's get back out to the scales.
Like, the amount of enemies in this section is frankly kind of annoying. <laughs> I mean, every time I go through here, I'm cleaning fucking enemies out. You know, you, you just, you don't play Silent Hill for combat. <laughs> Alright, we still have to do these two. Alright, thank you. All right, the boar with an eye. Coward save. All right, right there on the right. Sunday morning route. Incident at the infirmary. D-183 assault the medical staff. Attempted to steal medication. Situation under control. Noon lockup. Rumors of disease spreading among the prisoners reported to administration. Afternoon route. E-130 had a coughing fit. Reported to medical staff. Evening lockup. See if I can peek in here on the stairs. And that's all she wrote. Just waiting for the awfulness to dissipate, and we'll be on our way. Look at that shit. Come here. Look at that. Old man's always prepared. All right. Take another quick peek. All these things keep getting up.
I can't believe how much health and bullets I've gone through. Sorry, had an itchy face. Oh, really? <laughs> I do like there's a like a hole burned in the floor there and it's like so you, it was like a subtle hint. What? Christ on a boy. Like there's a subtle hint that that's where the acid would be. Guards think we're lepers now. Don't know why. But they they stay away. I don't complain. Well, maybe it's because your fingers fall off when you shake their hands. <sighs> this thankfully didn't look like that big of an area. What the fuck? What the hell was making my radio go off? Ah, oh. you. <laughs> Bathrooms. Good lord. Mmm. Toilet health drink. Mmm. Okay. Pardon, pardon me, ma'am. I didn't realize you were in the bathroom. Also didn't realize this was the ladies' room. Well, I am not going to look a gift save in the mouth, but... They have been, ever since we got to the, um... <clears throat> like, on our way to the historicals... Reap what you sow! <clears throat> He locked himself in, took the key. None of the CEOs got a spare, but I know there's one. He was going nuts over the disease. See if the head nurse doesn't have it. Thinks he's safe up there. He'll get what's coming. Speaking of the head nurse. Am I hitting the door?
I mean, we had 90 bullets when we got here. We're down to like 40. Regarding the emergency medical examination report, the report's conclusions are incorrect. The prisoners are sick. Examinations are to be repeated until the condition is properly diagnosed. Use more invasive methods if necessary. You know, anal probes. We must know the nature, the true nature of this affliction. All else is secondary. Did I see a mannequin out there? No, I saw a nurse out there. Damn it. Three swings. I wasn't expecting her to do the three swings. Had enough? There she goes. Here's the horseshoe puzzle. Not a health drink? No, it's not. Is there a bug in here or something? It's so cool they come through the window swinging, like, you can't just tee off on them when they're coming through a window.
I really gotta start conserving bullets. Yeah, so we're becoming a better shot. That's true. Upper floor key. Repeat examination report conclusions. None of the examined show any clinical sign or symptom of a life-threatening illness, contagious or otherwise. The recommended endurance tests were also performed. The results have been submitted directly to the warden as per his specifications. Why are we doing this? <laughs> okay, that's the lock for the upper floor. All right. I just want to make sure I covered this completely. New rules of conduct effective immediately. Guards are to keep their distance from the prisoners at all times. Any attempts of approaching the guards by the prisoners are met to be met with with immediate disciplinary action. Prisoners are to be confined to their cells until further notice. Oh, that won't be bad. Oh, okay, that's just a door. Oh, that's just completely blocked off. Okay. Upstairs we go. I'm sure it's going to be smooth sailing from here. the hell? Oh, we're in the upper floor of the cathedral. Oh. What the hell was that? I guess it was a spider mannequin. The fucking mannequin just out on a scroll. We're just going to keep going until we get one more hit, and then we'll take a syringe. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, that is also... Let me see something real quick. 
No, that's where we came from. Okay. Yeah, no, they just, they hunt by sensing guilt. <laughs> they feel vibrations in their little nether regions. Oh. Six 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 And no boy makes uh, James a dull boy. <laughs> I mean, that was the obvious one. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm getting sick of this. <laughs> I gotta do it. I shouldn't have done that till I figured out where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> We've seen too many of the same movies, that's the problem. How is this door not open? Well, shit. Yeah, we're. Uh, you know what? As soon as I get out and put this on the scales, I'm probably gonna call it a night. Is it? I don't know if you're being uh, sarcastic. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to get up super early tomorrow.
There we go. Okay. All right, that wasn't terrible. <laughs> Sorry, psych banana. <laughs> I have to get ready for bed. Um, Thomas1027 on Twitch and Twitter, MST3K and J on YouTube. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. I'll try to get this to this during the week. This weekend was crazy because I had a lot of family stuff going on and I just couldn't stream. So it was just like crazy. Um, th oh, yeah, thank you, Zumak. I forgot you were here. <laughs> but we'll try to get this midweek. Um, now that I'm finished writing my my story for Halloween. I'll have more time at night, so we'll get to this some point during the week. Alright. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a good week. Peace.